even know what a brand is. Now, this particular statement, I don't even know what a brand is, actually was the groundwork for me creating this share with you on today. I was looking through some of my uh, content for testimonials and things to put on a landing page. And as I'm looking at one of the testimonials, I hear my client say, now I'd heard this before in this particular uh, testimonial because it was recorded on video. I hear my client say, I don't even know what a brand is. Now, this was prior to her coming to work with me. It was actually the thing that connected us together. Someone actually referred her, uh, told her that she needed a brand. She was like, I don't know what a brand is. And here we are, we've actually been working together for about five years now. Uh, she started out in corporate America, moved over into the beauty industry, which was like a hobby of hers that she turned into a business and has created a full-on brand. Uh, during our time together, she's now a wellness coach. But prior to that, she had no idea was a, what a brand was. And so I thought, well, if she's in question about what a brand is, maybe I'll do a share just to kind of go in uh, deeper about building a brand and what a brand is. And so on today, I'm gonna talk about my framework that I use for helping my clients to build a brand and give you some more clarity on what a brand actually is. We know that many people think that your brand is your logo, your websites, and your pretty pictures. That's not what your brand is. And I've been hollering and screaming and saying this message for so, so long. And it's often the route that many people take when they first start out. They wanna go pick out the perfect logo and you know their colors and you know have this really amazing website designed and all the things. And I think that those things are an important factor to your brand, but they aren't like the sauce. They aren't the real sauce to your brand. They, they actually should be created from your brand's DNA, what I call your brand DNA. And so um, we're gonna talk about that one today. And I'm gonna talk about two parts of the framework that I use to help people build their brand that's going to bring more clarity to you about what a brand actually is. We know there are brands like Louboutin, um, YSL, there are brands like Chick-fil-A, uh, there are brands like Tiffany, things of that nature, but what is a brand? And so I take my clients through a track, a framework that I've created to help them really um, understand the brand that they are building. And I'm gonna talk about two parts of that framework with you today. And the first part of the framework is where I help you to define what your values are. Now, this is so important. It's often something overlooked, but it leads into building a brand that you don't really love if you skip this, right? And so in the first part of the framework for your brand DNA is identifying what are your values what are your emotions like what angers you what makes you afraid what makes you feel whole what lights you up what excites you all of those things are important when you're building a brand most people build brands that they cannot live into i'm gonna make that a little plainer i'm gonna repeat it and then make it a little plainer many people build brands that they cannot live into because they haven't identified their own personal values and things that excite them, things that anger them, things of that nature. But all of those things are so important when you're building a brand, especially if you're gonna build a brand that you can live into, that you can evolve with, that you can really stand behind. Cause it's kind of hard to stand behind a brand that you, it's not in alignment with who you really are, right? And so the first part is really understanding what are your values and what are your emotions, the things that excite you, ignite you, make you afraid, make you happy, make you feel whole? Identifying those things, that framework for those things. The second part of my framework for identifying your brand's DNA is identifying your superpowers. Now, this is so, so important. Many 
entrepreneurs make the grave mistake of trying to push all of their power out at one time, which often confuses their audience. It often confuses themselves and all the things. So number one is identifying your superpowers. What things are you just naturally good at, inclined to, to do that you may be overlooking? Do you know what your superpowers are? Take a moment and put it in the comments. Let me know what your superpowers are. Now, believe it or not, it sounds like something simple, but many people struggle with identifying what they're great at. It's normally something they're good at they don't even know. I've actually asked that question on social media before, and one comment is, is coming to mind. The person said, I'm charming. Their superpower was that they were charming. Now, from a business standpoint, that's unclear. It's really unclear. So imagine when you are writing your bio or you're telling people how you can help them, you say, I'm charming. So how does that benefit the, the perfect people, the clients and the customers that you want to serve? And so language is really important. And so there's a deeper level you would have to go to really identify what your superpower is outside of saying, you know, I'm charming. How is that valuable to your clients and customers or even to your brand? Being able to not only identify what your superpowers are, but being able to articulate them to the people who are potential clients and customers or those who would want to do business with you, for instance, uh, two of my superpowers. One is I am a systems girl. And so when I'm talking to clients and customers who need systems in their business, it's easy for them to understand how I could bring value to their business. Not only is it how I could bring value to other people's business, but it's a superpower of mine. So it's something that I do with grace and ease. Like I'm not fighting to do that. Like you can you know, brain dump all your stuff and there's just a natural inclination for me to define systems that's going to make it work like a well oil machine. That's just going to make it run and work and move more smoothly. It's one of my superpowers. I didn't always know that I had that, but over time, especially if you're going to operate your brand and business with a spirit of excellence, you, you have to go deeper, especially if you're wanting to convert clients and customers. Another one of my superpowers is I'm forward thinking. That would fall under the title of maybe visionary. Oftentimes when clients come to me and they have this thing that they wanna do and we walk through defining their brand's DNA and the discovery process of their brand, I'm already seeing like where they can go next and then the systems that they would need in order to make that happen. Does that make sense? So put below in the comments, what are your superpowers? These are two things. It's two parts of the brand DNA uh, framework that I use that you, you'll you need to know, right? As you're building a brand. So many people build brands that are out of alignment with who they are. And what happens is now they're doing work that's out of, of alignment with who they are. So if you're an introvert and you're feeling like you gotta go do TikToks and dances and all those things, because that's one of the popular things to do, more than likely that's going to be out of alignment with you. That's not gonna be something that you'll continuously be able to do a long enough amount of time because it's so out of your wheelhouse. I remember a client sharing with me, someone that she admired, and she said one day, I'm gonna be, you know, she, she gave an expression of how that person shows up. And I said, well, if that's out of your wheelhouse, it doesn't have to become this goal of yours to be so extroverted. Uh, there are many ways to make money and many ways to do it in a way that's really and truly in alignment with who you are. And that way it gets to be easy. So two things that the framework I use to help my clients define their brand's DNA are one, 
you know, where, who, what their values are and their emotions. And then two, their superpowers. Now, those are only two parts to the framework, but I thought it would give you an idea of what a brand consists of because it does consist of those things. And then once you've identified those two things, you now are in a place to learn how to package your brand so that it attracts your perfect people, which is another framework I teach and um, all of this I teach inside 3d success Academy the Academy is there the, the reason why I felt it was so important to create a program like this is because I want women to be able to operate in their 3d essence like full circle of who they are so that they can build brands that they love that they can actually be in harmony with that they can actually live into as they continue to evolve. I know as women, we wear tons of hats. And one of the hats, you know, as an entrepreneur that I feel is one of the most draining hats is one that doesn't fit you. So I thought it was so important to really create a program and a space where women could really dive deep and build their business from the inside out so that they could be in harmony with all the things that they're going to do because it's a lot of moving parts to growing a business but having those parts be ones that are really in alignment with who you are really allows you to live into your brand if you are struggling to show up and struggling to get out of complacency and all of those things chances are likely that the brand that you're attempting to build is out of alignment with who you are once you define those things you understand which platforms you need to be on to market your products and services you understand what offers to create and then you also begin to understand who is perfect for what it is that you're going to offer there's nothing like creating this offer that's full of all of this stuff that is not in your wheelhouse it's so difficult for you to do that there's no pleasure, there's no enjoyment in it for you as well. And so I just wanted to share just a little bit of the behind the scenes of you know how I work with my clients inside 3D Success Academy in the early stages of our time together in really identifying their brand's DNA and then moving on to new levels of building out their brand. And it's from that soundboard that we create that all of the other things that are connected to, you know, it working like a well oiled machine are created. Your logos, your websites, your pretty pictures, all of those things are derived from the identity, which is in your brand's DNA, I call, or have coined your brand's DNA of um, what you're building. So if you were uncertain about you know some of the basics of building a brand the first part is to get to know like who you are because you're going to be running this baby right you're the captain of the ship this is a brand is something that you're building for legacy and for long term it's not just a business that you create you're going to sell this product get you some money and you know kind of move out of a brand evolves a brand is this long-term thing that you evolve into and as you continue to evolve your brand continues to morph uh, if you are looking to really operate in your 3d essence as you're building your business and building your brand and you're looking for a place that is the ultimate growth track to do that in the comments somewhere around here there's an opportunity for you to join us inside 3D Success Academy. And 3D for us is our destiny, our dollars, and our disciplines. And those are the things that I highlight, I teach, and the body of work that I've created comes from in a way that I'm able to empower women to go within and really build businesses and brands that they love that fund their lifestyle and not run their lifestyle right um, I think that's so important but these are some basics to building your brand I hope this gives you another level of clarity about brand building and creating a brand and creating one that you love